kind of where the main reason I'm calling you folks, checking in with you, chest is hurt. Couple jackets on, freezing. Come, I have pneumonia or something. All of a sudden, a few hours ago, I started feeling super sick. Now I feel like I'm burning up. Oh. Say yourself. This is instantly. I feel like instant crap. I got a pain. Goodness, I have never felt so much pain in my life. <sighs> it hurts to lift our arm, my right arm. Like, like having a 70 pound box. I'm trying to pick it up. Just like. I know so the last few hours, the other arm is starting to get weak too. It's like I've been drained by a massive machine in the planet, sapping the energy out of me. understand this feeling but it's not a feeling that I'm not familiar with a lot of people believe that you just get older and you can still ride that bike you can still do the backflip you can still make that tackle Pain is pain. It all started with the teeth. My teeth here, folks, an illusion. They're an illusion. When the truth comes out, I'm just another individual. I did a video earlier today. I sat in front of the camera for 50 minutes and the video did not upload. I spoke of reality. The YouTube been the reality show. The last reality show. I sat there for an hour and watch the screen say, upload. I typed in what I had to say. And I told everybody out there that was the last video I'd ever do. I put a caption on my page, stating this would be the final season. You don't know when the season starts and you don't know when the season ends. Only the administrators of this channel know that. I also pay my respect to those YouTubers before me. Wise Nubian. J. Ryder 4. Sexy Sci-Fi. 
the legendary KC. Number one asshole. Tom Kennedy 8. I think her name was Chris Salas. One hot hoe. China doll. I gave thanks to little Coco. White chillin'. J Rider 4. Trash Man. Little Coco. Ellen Back. The worst video maker ever. The White Army. And over the years, as a YouTuber, you come up with your favorites. The very first favorite I had was the legendary KC. We talked about wrestling. We talked about hip hop. And the whole last video I did was based on Wise Nubian. And I regret this. Because doing this videos have brought me closer to you folks out there than I could ever believe. From the people in London to the people in Africa to the whites the blacks and the Mexicans, everybody who I wanted to be treated equally. The fact that I spoke to you in a manner that befits the channel on which you forged, giving respect to all those and dissing all those who needed to be dissed. From putting my foot in Sergeant Pete, Willie Pete's ass, to debating with the strange Paul Savane. I spoke of how all the black women were behind me and the young black men were behind me till I challenged Paul Surveyor. I have followers the world over from Alabama to Africa, from California to Katmanzu. I got haters in South Africa and I got haters in South America. Comes a time Where you get too old to play the game. Comes a time where the line has been drawn. What do you do? How many times has one person retired? And come back to find out you're still slipping in the game. 
How many times will it take for an industry to say you can't get paid and you sit there and give them material to put commercials on? How many times do you bungee jump off that cliff with a new idea thrown out there for all to see? How many times does a man in his lifetime see how many ideas that he's spoken about freely, feel, and witness? How many people come up from an idea, spit from his mind, fresh off a bad attitude at work, fresh off some ignorant words being spoken in the background? How many millions of dollars has a man thrown away by saying too much at the right time in front of the wrong people in the right minute for the wrong reason? How many songs have I spit from the membrane of my mind with no pen, paper, pad? No band leader, no Cab Calloway, no Michael Jackson, no Prince. No true artists behind me. Find an old black man down. Bands bus broke down in town. Do 50 to 80, maybe over 100 songs with and still not get a wow. From the crowd. Expectations. Failed reason. Somebody once told me, why should you believe in human existence? When humans themselves can't exist within themselves. How can the formula, if one person thinks like you, there's a million that think like you, be proven wrong? How can a group of people fall subject to what they're told to believe and yet still live in a society which plays those games on those minds in which they use later to shape that very same society? What is a philosopher? A philosopher is me. For the philosophy is divine because if those before me can make up stories that become divine, then mine are divine because the power invested in me became from those stories before mine. But God stopped talking. What is a video if it is not seen by those who create the videos for those videos to be seen, but not to be interpreted by those who will twist the interpretation of Paton, <laughs> Ooh. who would twist the interpretations upon their will and not those of those who spoke the words in which came into their mind from divine extinction, wisdom, intellect. I'm smarter than those 
who believe that I'm less because I believe that I know that I'm smarter than those who know that I am no less than what they believe that I am. That in itself is the true essence, the one and only essence. I can because I am. I believe because I am. I will this be done because I can. I am what I am. That's what I am because I am what I can. Sky opened up, rain came down, and the end, the ground was wet. Was it wet from God's tears? or God's tyranny. For out thou the words of X to the A to the I, what's next? A philosopher's philosophy is based on one's life and life experiences. I have lived and I've died under many names. If a dog can live one year for every two, three months, seven years for every human life, year life span, blah, blah, then I am based on dog years, based on life years, based on consequence years, based on society's years. I am over 50,000 years old. I cannot name my age based on the things I've heard and seen and been through in this society. But I can tell you this, I have been here a long time before I can remember the shit I remember now. I remember eons of bullshit. And it is what it is. And I am what I am. A long time ago, somebody threatened my life. I'd be like, I done been here, done done that. I've seen where you've going, done been where you've been, back time and time again. And I ain't been shit nowhere then. Now that I've been where I've been, I've been where no one has ever been a friend. Life in the beyond is greater than what you think. So please, before you take this internet thing lightly, be who you be, set yourself free like a professional football player, a professional boxer, a professional in anything. Leave the game on top.